what makes him so tough is his ability to play all over the board. You know, he's, he's a guy that can pick and pop. You know, they're running plays for him to come off down screens for threes. He can drive it. Obviously, his length, he gets six offensive rebounds, and then you think he can score around the basket. So, you know, there's a reason why he's going to play basketball for a long time and uh, help him have a magnificent career. He's a, he's a terrific player, and uh, I'm a big fan of what he does. From your perspective, what do you see Maryland trying to do in terms of their impact? Yeah, well, I think they, you know, they, they have great quickness. You know, Maryland and you know, they're a good defensive team because they have a lot of interchangeable parts. So they do a lot of switching. So it's it's really hard to get a lot of different actions against them because they switch out a lot and you know, they kind of keep the ball in front of them. And they got length and athleticism on the perimeter. So, you know, I, I actually thought Pat, though, even though he didn't score as much, I mean, I thought he did a really good job of kind of playing with the game he's getting up. And he was getting there. I thought he was finding guys. You know, it was a stretch where he made a couple nice moves there. And to be honest, guys, it's, it's really remarkable what Pat's doing. I mean, to think he's been playing in rec leagues for four years. You know, when you come out in the Big Ten after not playing competitive basketball since high school, and you've got to play in these environments against these teams. I mean, I, it's a remarkable feat. You know, it really is. It shows what kind of athlete, what kind of competitor he is. And, and uh, you know, it's been great to have him. He's, even though he's only been here with us for this one season, he's left a mark. On our program with his competitiveness, with his edge, you know, with his swagger, and and that's I didn't know how good of a player he was going to be because nobody knew unless you played in the rec leagues in Baltimore. But uh, I knew that he had stuff that I wanted in my program, and he's done an amazing job as he's going to lead out of here. Like the, the young players that we have, they've gotten better and they've learned from him. So it's it's been great having him this year. So definitely. Yeah, no, Scott, I mean, again, like, I, I just am impressed with their ability, their defensive versatility, because all of a sudden you got Marcel out there, you got Scott, you got Wiggins, you got Ayala, you know, obviously Callen's quickness is going to bother guys on the ball, and their ability to do a lot of switching and keep the ball in front and have that kind of versatility uh, makes them a terrific, you know, defensive team. And, you know, Scott is a talented player. You know, I think he's kind of an unsung guy for them. He's made, when he's making shots and kind of making plays for them, because you know they got two stars. You got a star point guard, you got a star big man. And you know what, I mean, I'm a huge Marcel fan. You know, he's just going to give you all the dirty work every single night. But when you add a guy like Scott now, it's kind of a, one of those versatile guys who can do a little bit of everything. It's, it's why they have a chance to compete with anybody in the country. In terms of uh, Pat Spencer. Right? Oh, yeah, sorry. Where has he grown the most this year, considering that, yeah, he's been playing in rack base and he's been thrown into these kind of environments? How has he grown? I just think the experience of playing, you know, just structured basketball, it's, it's way different. You know, there's game plans, you know, there's terminology, you know, just for him to pick all those things up. And I think everybody's seen as the season's gone along, he's gotten his legs underneath him. Uh, he's, he's become a better player, you know, just all around. And he's always had a good IQ, he's always had a good feel for the game. But I think the more you play against this level of competition and you see these kind of defenses and you see these kind of game plans, he's starting to really kind of figure out where to pick and choose the spots and, and how to be a leader for us. And he's done a really good job of that. Anything else? Thanks, Coach. All right, thanks, guys.